Hi friends, this is Big Blue Hat, and today I'm playing the first five minutes of Immer the Chronicles of Immerland Solitaire. Figured I'd go back to my roots since it's been a while and play a solitaire game. And I apologize for the delay. Let's pick a game style, relax or hard. We're gonna go with hard, just because. Hello, you dozed off waiting for me, I yeah. see. <laughs> your face tells me that your dreams so there was an intro in here no matter, uh, that I've cut out, which is what now. he's referring to. You have to buy the game cards. to find out what that is. Where are they? Now we're going to look for a deck of cards. It's part hidden oh, object and part solitaire. I left the Mostly solitaire. And the wind scattered them all These hidden the object wall. bits. Help me gather them yes, all, be happy to, sir. So these hidden object bits are pretty straightforward. Um... Usually one thing at a time, not a lot of construction of things or uncovering of things. Occasionally some like move a thing to find a thing, but that's about it. I haven't tried any of the hints because so far it's been pretty straightforward. Like this one. Yay. Great. We've got a complete deck. Let us get down awesome. to your training. So I skipped the training. Cause I wanted to get straight to the gameplay. And here we go. And it's a solitaire game. Surprise, surprise. Um, the first few layouts are pretty typical, and then things get crazy as you go on. Um, you'll notice as I play that I miss some things, and it shakes some cards. And you have an undo button, which is always nice. And you can buy other undos and get extra wild cards. You can see here I've already uncovered one from the tutorial. And you match cards, and the music is soothing and nice and repetitive. I think there's like two tracks, maybe three. Um, which, you know, you kind of just get in a groove and feel like, yay, I'm relaxing and playing solitaire, and that's nice. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, I think you'll probably hear both tracks by the time this five minutes is over. Um, play the wild card. Three, four, three, no, five. Uh, did I pick the right one? I don't know. But I got a combo. So the combos are great, and add a point multiplier. You get gold, you level up, you buy amulets, which help you do stuff. Um, five minutes is not enough time to earn enough gold to buy an amulet, but they are helpful later. And they get you the typical stuff um, that you may have seen in other games like Fairy Solitaire and things like that, where they let you get extra undoes, as I mentioned, or uncover the next card that's coming up, um, or anything like that. There's about 10, I think, upgrades you can buy. And then some of them stack too, which is kind of cool. And then there's also wild cards that you can purchase if you want. I don't know that you get to pick the number, but I don't know that it'd matter. So as you see, I missed four, left four last the first time, left three this time. And then all the points, which I never really dig into. Um, if you fail, if you get worse than four, then there's this sort of villain guy who shows up and laughs at you between the things. If you get five perfects, you get uh, 500 extra gold as a bonus. And then you use the gold to buy amulets, of course. So you'll do a series of card hands, and then occasionally there will be a hidden object thing, usually between story points. And the story is similar to the animated wizard at the beginning. Um, other characters show up as you go along. Eventually there's uh, mermaids and mermen and all kinds of other stuff. Um, I haven't made it that far. I played a couple hours, I guess. But I did pick hard, and I've kind of regretted that. Um, it's not too, too hard, but it's just slower. You replay levels a lot, or I do, as if you're watching the cards that I'm clicking, I'm missing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> um, but oh well. Click, click. I just always find the nice card sounds, like, really soothing and fun to listen to. Um... So even if I get annoyed with the music, I'll shut that off and leave the nice, like, click, click of the cards. Uh, five, six, come on, do it! Yes! Oh, good. I got that one right, at least. Four, oh, four, six, uh. I always hate these impasses. Really, they're about the same thing, but... Oh, well, especially in this case. I don't think I clear this. Nope. Stuck in the same boat with three cards left. And you get a different little creature on top of the numbers every time which is super duper. There we go. And I think we're going to have some 
hidden object stuff happening. It yeah, is getting here we dark, go. and my eyes are not what they used to be. Would you do an old man a favor and light all the lanterns, please, so that we can continue with sure, your training? Sure, I can light some lanterns. Click, click. These are all pretty obvious. And the, like I said, the hidden object stuff at the beginning of the game, anyways, is pretty on the nose. It's hard to get it wrong, like that one. It's like the cathartic act of finding stuff and clicking it. Oh, Excellent. So Much nice. better now. Okay. Let us continue. On to the next hand. But that's five minutes, and so we're going to wrap here. Thanks for watching the first five minutes of The Chronicles of Immerland Solitaire gameplay. Have an awesome day, and play a game or two.